Now here I have a integral that uh, I cannot do by recognition. So the only way that I've got is by substitution. Well, I say the only way I've got, I mean, I could multiply this bracket out, I suppose, to the power 4, and then times by x and integrate every term and then simplify it, but whoa, how tedious is that going to be? So for integrals like this, substitution is definitely the answer. And the method of substitution is given up here. Okay, so I'm going to follow this. So what we need to do in cases like this, when you've got something like an ax plus b type term to a power, always let the ax plus b part be your substitution, your u. So I'm going to let u then equal, okay, let u equal the 2x plus 3. Now, even though we've got to get dx to u, first of all, I find du by dx. Okay, so we differentiate this equation here with respect to x. So we're going to have du dx would equal, in this example, 2. Now we want dx by du. So in order to find dx by du, Okay, we turn to another principle, and that is dx by du is always the same as 1 over du by dx. So in this particular example, dx by du is going to be 1 over 2, a half in other words. Alright, so we now have dx du as being a half. So we can go back to this integral, and using this method, we can change the variable from x's to u's by, first of all, just replacing dx with dx over du by du. So we have x, then the 2x plus 3 to the power 4, okay, and dx then is being replaced by dx over du by du, so that becomes a half du. All right. Now, before we can integrate this with respect to u, we've got to make sure that we've changed the variable, changed all of these x's across so that we have an integral in terms of u. And I can see that u is 2x plus 3. Okay, so that's going to be easy. I can replace 2x plus 3 with the u here to the power 4. But this x here, what am I going to do with that? Well, what I can do is just simply make x the subject from the equation over here. So also, I can put that x equals, well clearly if I subtract 3 from both sides, 2x is going to equal u minus 3, and then divide by 2, x is going to equal a half of u minus 3. So what we have is in place of x, I'm going to write a half u minus 3. Okay. And then I've got u, 2x plus 3, which is u, u to the power 4 there, so I'll put u to the power 4 down. And then we have half du. So I've managed to change my integral then from the variable x totally over to the variable u. Now I've got half times a half, that's a quarter, and it's always a good idea to bring your constants out the front of an integral, so we'll have a quarter out the front. And then I've got u minus 3 times u to the power 4. I can expand that bracket, so we have u to the power 5 minus 3u to the power 4. Don't forget we've got a couple of terms here, so we need to make sure we put that in brackets, and then we have du. Now I can integrate both of these terms in the usual way. We have the quarter out the front. I'm going to put square brackets in here. And we have u to the power 6 over 6. For minus 3u to the 4, when we integrate that, we have minus 3u to the power 5 over 5. And don't forget the constant of integration plus c. Now at this stage, remember we've got to express our final answer in terms of x. So at this stage, what we could do is replace our u with 2x plus 3 back into the equation here. 
but what I'm not going to do is that. Okay, it's far less work if you simplify this expression here at this stage. And to do that, I'm going to put my fractions over a lowest common multiple, and the lowest common multiple of 6 and 5 is 30. So expressing u to the 6 over 6 in terms of 30ths, I've got to multiply top and bottom by 5. So I would have 5u to the power 6, and for this fraction, I'd have to multiply top and bottom by 6 to express it in 30th, so I'd have minus 18u to the power 5. And again, put in the plus c. Now at this stage, I could factorize the top, and what I would have is u to the power 5, bracket, and then there'll be 5 times a u, that will give me 5u to the 6, and then I would just need an 18 on the end there to give me 18u to the 5. And as for the quarter times a 30th, that would be 1 120th. So we'll put that underneath there. And not forgetting the constant of integration c. Now I'm going to replace my u with the 2x plus 3. So we'll just move that up a bit. OK to there. So what I have then is 2x plus 3 to the power 5 all over 120 and anticipating at this stage that I'm going to have brackets within brackets, okay, I'm going to put my square bracket back up again so that's going to be 5 lots of u which is 2x plus 3 and then minus 18. Close the bracket off and plus c. Now at this stage I can see that if I was to expand this bracket I'm going to have 5 lots of 2x that would be 10x and then 5 threes 15 and then I've got the minus 18 on the end. So I can see that this is going to be simply 10x minus 3. So I can write that final answer in then as 2x plus 3 to the power 5 over 120, all multiplied by, and I can reduce my square brackets back down to curve brackets again, 10x then minus 3 plus the constant. Alright, okay. So there you have integration by substitution, or as some people call it, changing the variable. And I hope you can use this then as. Uh, a, a typical example, just follow the method through, be careful though on the algebra. As I said to you before, I find it a lot easier just to simplify at this stage. When you've got your u's, rather than make the substitution straight away of 2x plus 3 in this case, just simply keep cleaning up, work your way through, then do the substitution towards the end.